friends, welcome back. It took a minute to get this video out, but here it is. I'm finally sharing one of the funnest drive days we've had in recent months. This morning we left Tree Mountain and we took Highway 102 West, followed the National Park signage to Highway 83, and then turned north on East Promontory Road. This road becomes Golden Spike Drive and leads you directly to the visitor center of Golden Spike National Historical Park. We had no idea this was here. We saw it on the map and said, oh, let's go check it out. Visitors here get to see the location of the last spike driven as the Transcontinental Railroad met from the east and the west, as well as replicas of the engines that met. So where is the real Golden Spike? The original Golden Spike is on display at the Cantor Arts Museum at Stanford University in Palo Alto, California. Apparently there was a second Golden Spike. The second spike is on permanent display at the California State Railroad Museum in Sacramento. That's also an interesting place to visit. May 10, 1869 is when the first transcontinental railroad in the United States was completed. Interesting quote here from newspaperman J.H. Beadle. He said, 4,900 feet above sea level, though theologically speaking, if we interpret scripture literally, it ought to have been 49,000 feet below that level for it certainly was for its size morally nearest to the infernal regions of any town on the road. In 1942, the last spike was ceremonially undriven before a crowd from Union Pacific, Southern Pacific, and state dignitaries. Within a few months, the entire line between Corinth and Lucen was salvaged, with the steel being redirected to America's war effort. While we were here, we were fortunate enough to catch up with a group of school kids on field trip and they performed a little skit which was quite fun to watch. The park ranger gave them costumes and he gave them scripts to read from and they did a pretty good job, especially considering that this was all spontaneously done. After leaving the park, we headed out to find a campsite for the night and ran into Northrop Grumman.
And what did we find? We found Rocket Park. Northrop Grumman is supporting NASA's Artemis program by providing the solid rocket boosters for NASA's Space Launch System and the abort motor and altitude control motor for the Orion spacecraft's launch abort system. It was pretty interesting going from the technological era of railroads being completed in the country to spacecraft in one day's drive. As we continued our drive and started to look for a place to stop for tonight, we came across Sublet Creek. Now there's a reservoir up there, however, there wasn't a really good spot for us to camp, so we continued up towards Sublet Campground and found an exceptional place. Quiet, peaceful, and it was like springtime here finally. We spent about two hours listening to thunderstorms this evening.
Thanks for coming along with us on our drive day adventures. If you liked today's video, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video is published. See you then!